Hey guys, George of Soundtracks here. And have you ever wondered how to select the diesel engine for your locomotive model? Well, we're gonna show you a couple of tips and tricks to help make Soundtracks products really shine in your locomotives. So let's get started. Now, first thing when you're going into a model and you're going to put a sound decoder in it, first of all, you wanna do a little bit of research and find out what prime mover is in it. So for example, this EMD E8 on the table here would have a dual EMD 567 sound. So ordinarily then we would go to the list and check the sound selection references and we find out which one has the EMD dual 567. And we can see that it was the original EMD decoder. So now having done that, we take CV123 and we select the dual EMD 567. So to get that dual EMD 567, we're gonna change CV123 to a value of three to select that dual EMD 567. So you're going to hear the first diesel engine start up. And then now you're going to hear the second one start up. Now this would be the pr correct prime mover. But what about all those suffixes, A, B, C, D, and so forth? Now in some cases they do make a difference, but a lot of times you're going to see that th these are changes to the actual diesel engine inside the locomotive. So they may account for some minor changes in sound, they may account for some major changes, and where they're different, we've actually highlighted that in the section in the sound selection references. So now, let's just say, for example, we have this and we have two E8s, and we want them to sound just a little bit different. Well, one of the gimmicks that's out there is to have six or seven different recordings of the same locomotive, or the same alleged prime mover. Now, if I was to take the real locomotive here and I was to record it standing from here, here, and here, I would get three different recordings of that diesel engine because, of course, the sound and acoustics, differences in location, and sometimes I can even manipulate the track inside the lab to make it look like and sound like three different things. But what we've done is we've given you the tools inside your decoder to help make those changes. First up is what's called prime mover pitch shift. And what this will do will allow you to change the overall pitch of the locomotive just slightly up or slightly down to help give it a little bit of a difference in sound. So first I'm gonna take CV223 and we're gonna set that to a value of zero. The default value is 128. And what that's gonna do is that's gonna reduce the pitch all the way down to the lowest level. So let's listen closely to the prime mover change. Now you can hear how that's changed. Now you still have that dual EMD 567 character, but it's at a lower pitch. Now let's go to the opposite side of the spectrum. We're gonna take CV223 all the way up to a value of 255. So this will raise the pitch all the way up. So now you can hear how that's changed. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna put it back at 128 or in the middle or no change. So this is the recording as it comes out of the decoder from default. So you can make those changes and just slightly change them up a little bit. But now also you have access to the seven band equalizer. The seven band equalizer allows you to adjust the individual tones of each of those sound spectrums so that you can get a slightly different sound. So what I've done is I've preset the equalizer CVs. CVs 225 is the control register and selects between some preset values and seven is a user adjustable. And then I've taken CB226 and created a slight curve to help adjust the sound overall. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say CB225 and I'm gonna set it to a value of seven to enable that equalizer. So now you can hear how much different that locomotive sounds and all I've done is change the equalizer. Now you can go through and change the equalizer values so we can take 226 to zero, 227 to 100, 228 to a value of 100. And you can kind of hear how I've reduced that low end frequency. So again, all the tools are in your hands to adjust the overall sound. So guys, I encourage you to try this out. You can change the CV values all you want. You will not damage or break the decoder. Just try it out. If you don't like it, go back to what it was before. Try things out, see what you like, and see how closely you can match some different prime movers in your models.